la 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 leo la 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 leo la 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 leo la 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 leo la 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 what's up lion gang hold up guys one lipstick on my team i thought it was gonna catch me slipping or no okay what's going on in the life of a leo this is your bonus retrograde video Thank y'all for all the likes, the shares, the subscribes, y'all. Welcome to the family, new subscribers. Also, y'all, them views. Y'all love me, huh? I love you back. Thank you so much, family. Thank y'all. I, I did Pisces and Leo really made me cry because it happened so fast, you know, and I'm, I'm grateful and I'm very humble. So I'm like, I look up one day, I'm like, whoa, the people love, they la 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 love me, la la la, they la 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 love me, okay, I thought I was good at one night, but I had to put my, throw, throw my glasses on, come y'all all studious, like, okay, so this of course is for my sun, moon, rising, and Venus, and cross watches of Leo, so don't forget, happy birthday, happy birthday, baby, happy birthday, happy birthday, ow, happy birthday, happy birthday, baby, Happy birthday, Lion Gang. What's up, la, 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 big lines? Okay, happy birthday. Uh, in honor of your birthday, I have a $40 special only for 30-minute readings, same day or schedule out. That's the T. So, yes, um, you can save $10. Or you can save um, $25. It's up to you. You know, or well, what is it? Yeah, you can save $10 or $25. Up to you, your choice, okay? But that is going to be going on until August the 25th, 2018. So get it in, get it in. I'm not 100% booked, and let's, let's come in and pour that tea. Okay, this is a general. It's not a personal. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found boop, in the description, okay? Um, Leo, I got a song for y'all. I don't know what's going on today. I've been getting songs for everybody when I meditate on y'all energy, okay? If you see smoke, you shouldn't, but if you do, no, baby, my house is not on fire, okay? Because ain't nobody got time for that, all right? It's a fire. Ain't no fire, okay? That's the damn sage, all right? So I love y'all, babies. Let's rock, all right? So this is for my line gang. I did pull some messages from the Crystal Angels. Oracle Cards, Deck, Doreen, Virtue. This is the only book the kid is going to read because I don't like to misinterpret angel, angel messages, okay? So, Leo, the first angel message I got for you guys during this retrograde period is going to be Aquamarine, Divine Light, Divine Life Purpose. Trust the signs and your inner guidance, which are leading you to fulfillment. A lot of y'all intuition is booming right now. Y'all already know who, what, where is finna come for you, who you finna come for. You just ricky, you just waiting to get ricky, 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 ricky ready. Some of y'all are already ready. You're just waiting on the right time to strike, okay? And striking don't always gotta be a bad thing. Y'all very, y'all think outside, think outside the box, sister fire sign. Y'all already know what time it is. This might be retrograde. It's fucking up my communication. So if I stutter, stu 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 stu, I don't mind going back to repeat myself, okay? Because I love y'all. Why not? So let's get it. Marie. This card appears in to answer questions about your next steps, your career or spiritual path, and your life purpose. Your purpose, like everyone else's, is to love. The form that you choose to express love needs to be based upon what you love to do. For example, do you enjoy writing, counseling your friends, being with animals in nature, cooking, artistry, teaching children, doing healing work, or conducting research, Leo? Well, do you? Well, do you, do you? Following your heart will lead you in the right direction. Yes, you may need to use your head to do some planning and partner up with others who have strength complementary to your own. God and your guardian angels are reassuring that the love you feel is a sign that this path of action is your life purpose. So some of y'all are already feeling that you need to bring healing to something, someone, or accept someone in who's bringing this to you. And you are absolutely right. This retrograde is bringing a feeling of, a, I, I felt anxiety, y'all. I kept dropping these damn cards trying to shuffle for y'all. And that was three different dicks. So I know it's a sense of anxiety. Some of y'all feel like a kid before Christmas. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Because y'all intuition, y'all definitely trusting that it's not leading you it's leading you astray, baby. What you see is what you should believe is coming, okay? So the next card that I have for you guys is Rose Quartz, okay? And also, I've been, I have my little Rose Quartz on, okay? I've been rocking the Rose Quartz as far as the love, okay? Because bringing in the love, all right? 
Um, it says love life. New or renewed romantic love is here for you. Okay? They go to that intuition. I feel like some of y'all are you already knew. You already know. Okay. Rose Quartz Love Life. This heart is ready for great. I'm sorry, your heart is ready for great love. And this card validates that your romantic prayers have been heard and are being answered. Rose Quartz is associated with innocent, youthful, and playful romantic love. So if you are currently in a relationship, you may want to have a play date with your partner. If you are single and looking, Rose Quartz is a sign of courtship, crushes, flirtation, and the bliss of new love on the horizon for you. This is also a sign of falling back in love with your life and valuing life itself. Gratitude is the attitude, people. This with this retrograde is the biggest lesson of all that it's bringing, okay? Focusing upon your blessings and what you're grateful for allows you to regain the, the love of life. Prayers can help you appreciate this amazing gift that God has for you. I'm sorry, that God has given to you. Ain't that some shit? No good. Binoculars, okay. And the last card I got for y'all is Topaz, all right. Forgiveness heals, and I feel like that's the anxiety moment. Some of y'all already ready to bust out the gate and move forward, but you know you gotta forgive somebody, okay. Or you maybe you're thinking about moving forward or going back to your past to reconcile, possibly with an old friend or family member, and you know forgiveness needs to be there in order for you all, for you both to heal to completely move forward. I'm feeling that strongly for about eighty percent of y'all, and that's a big percentage, okay. Topaz, time to release repressed anger as it's blocking your health and happiness, okay? Topaz, this is a beautiful sign from your guardian angels who love you so much and want to help you reach the next positive level in your health and happiness. They can see that you're being blocked and held back by repressed anger and resentment. Most likely you already know what needs to be released, but perhaps you've had difficulty letting it go. Forgiveness isn't condoning, accepting, or excusing someone's behavior. It means an unwillingness to harm yourself anymore. You don't have to like the other person or hang out with them. You simply need to agree to release their energy from your psyche. This card could refer to forgiving yourself for the actions that you regret. Self-blame is as toxic as blaming others. The only thing valuable about, valuable about reflecting on the past is learning from it, okay? Turn my L's and the lessons who on that party too, okay? Not holding on to the shame or guilt. Your guardian angels remind you that harboring anger hurts only you, not the other person. Repressed resentment is toxic to your physical, emotional, and financial health. All it takes is a little willingness to forgive, and God, Jesus, and the angels will do the rest of the work for you. Okay? So, Leo, you have to forgive. This Mercury retrograde season is going to bring you people that's willing to help you, okay? If you don't, if you move away from ego and pride, of course, you know, with the retrogrades, everybody just assumes it's got to be all negative shit. Positive things come with the retrograde as well, like growth, okay? Reads, all the reads, reconnects, reunions, reconciliations, redos, renews, rebirths of ourself. Gratitude is the attitude. I'm going to tell you, like I told Virgo, let the, let the mindset, let doubt because things have to die in order for things to be born in this season. This Mercury retrograde is in Leo. So everything that you're passionate about, true love, a lot of y'all finna a lot of y'all ran into y'all swim flames, okay? With this union card thing. Oh yeah, because I wasn't done. Mother wanted to speak to you, my loves, okay? A lot of y'all running into y'all twin flames. For some of y'all it's a Pisces, for some of y'all it's cancer, for some of y'all it's a Scorpio, okay? Um, for some of y'all it's also a Gemini Libra Aquarius or Okay, maybe you weren't speaking to a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could definitely be a father figure or some type of maybe baby, uh, uh, children's father, your father. Um, but those issues are going to be resurfaced during this Mercury retrograde season, and communication is going to be one of your strongest elements. Okay, we're communicating from a place of love. Okay, in order for you to receive love. Okay, a lot of y'all have been moving in faith. Okay, you've been moving in faith, but fear is asking for you to balance. Your heart over here. Balance your emotion over your intellect, okay? It's not about what you felt about the situation, but what you gained, what you learned. Even if it had to even if you had to take a L, okay? It's about going back and re evaluating the situation. And if you are able to reconnect and renew a relationship, go for it. It's supported by the divine. Trust the God working through you, Leo. Okay? That's what I'm feeling. Also, you may have an earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Some of y'all could recently met an Earth sign. This person, some of y'all actually will be starting 
Some of y'all welcoming in the new news. Some of y'all are walking into the door of abundance, okay? All right, but you see how this snake peep this? Because, you know, Mocha gets all in. You see how this snake is all in her little bowl of abundance with the butterfly, all her new, new, this snake trying to take her new, new, watch the snakes. Some of y'all got people around y'all just waiting for y'all to come up, and that's going to be exposed during this Mercury retrograde. It's going to help you cut some shit off, cut some people off, cut the snakes' heads the fuck off with their heads, okay? We moving to growth. Leave all that shit in the background, all right? That's what I'm saying from, uh, for Leo. I also see the Ace of Water, okay? A lot of y'all have divine love in your hand. You're nurturing something. Someone's trying to come in and nurture you, offer you abundance. They want to make every. They want to communicate effectively. Okay, this person is in tune with both their with, with both their intellect as well as their emotions. As you shall be by the end of this Mercury retrograde, baby. Okay, there will be a union, whether it's a union between your own divine feminine and divine masculine within self. Or an actual divine union, okay, between this Mercury retrograde. Hold on, y'all. My child in this loud is I don't know what, okay? Like, we live in East Texas. Yes, honey, okay. So, Leo, I feel that y'all have to forgive somebody who did some really dirty shit. If this was you, you're going to be moving towards asking someone for forgiveness, okay? One second here. I do see. Let me just get it popping. All right, Spirit, please give me the messages. What's your great messages for the sun, moon, rising, and being signs of Leo? What can they expect during this retrograde? Okay. Some of y'all getting y'all wish. Oh, and Leo, the song that I got for y'all. And it's such an old song. I don't know where it came from. I don't know where none of these songs coming from, y'all. But they just in the pineo, and I'm going with it, okay? But what I got for y'all was, um, oh, so I'm going to tell y'all how old I am. I think it's at night. I think of you. I want to be your lady, baby. If your game is on, give me a call, boo. If your love is strong, gotta give my all to you. Y'all remember that song? That's what I got for Leo. I feel like y'all been in thought, deep thought about someone. Waiting to reconnect with someone. Hold on a second. What? Can I get some chocolate? Please do. If it's gonna get y'all out of here with the loud noise and all of that, thing, please get some socks. Move with the quickness, cause I'm recording right now. Right. The, in fact, there goes book pause. Boom. There go a pair. Bam. There it is. Thank you, son. Mommy loves you. Love you too. All right. Okay. Like the retrograde will bring those distractions as well. They've been there all day, okay? But you know the kid, the kids want to push through. All right, Leo, I do see Mercury retrograde. Y'all have a, a a slick Gemini Libra Aquarius, okay? In the past, you thought that this person was your everything. You wanted to move forward with this person. Um, some of y'all could actually have a child with this person. Okay, in the past, there was a three-party situation, okay, and I feel like there was no clarity given somebody just cut somebody off. Oh, but the truth shall be revealed. This can also be, if not a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this can include an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius like yourself or a Pisces, okay? Some of y'all are going to be getting information regarding a sneaky, a sneaky person for your past. Here they come. Yeah, here they come. This could also be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, but I feel like someone in your past was very sneaky. I feel like you're in love with this person. So some of y'all, y'all know it is your twin. Okay, for some of y'all know, some of y'all know it's a soulmate. Okay, I feel like for some of y'all, y'all wishing for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius to come back. And for a lot of y'all, this person is going to come back. However, and this person could be the father of your children as well. All right, this person could have a lot of secrets and this is what, and they keep you in very party energy. So they kind of come in but they sneak out they always return but they they doing sneaky shit when they come okay i do see that this person is coming but they're coming in as the night one they coming in for one thing and one thing only it's your wish to have fulfillment be grounded to have a divine love be able to uh have open dialogue communicate from a loving place to be in a divine union okay it's they damn wish to bust it open bust it open bust it open okay this person has no regard for anyone else's feelings for some of y'all not all of y'all 
right? For some of y'all, like I said, this person is going to come in, all right? But this person is still coming in with three-party energy for some of you, all right? And that could be the secret. Some of y'all, this person could have a Gemini Libra Aquarius, maybe that they moved away from or that they temporarily lived during this Mercury retrograde, okay? They could have just, they could be holding secrets from you, okay? Or this Gemini Libra Aquarius could be moving back towards you having secrets, all right? But for some of y'all, some of y'all going into passionate unions with a cancer. I do see that very strongly. Yeah. If you were dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius in the past that was a sneaky ass person, this person might be running maybe returning back and wanting love. Okay, I feel like you're dealing with a fire sign. That fire sign is coming back, baby, and that fire sign does not want commitment. That fire sign is working on themselves. Okay, this fire sign is feeling in power, but this fire sign is only going to bring your life passion. If you just look in the you know, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, then that's going to work for you. But if you're looking for a commitment, this fire sign, you're going to have to trust your intuition and pretty much your integrity and your authenticity to loving yourself really makes you attractive during this Mercury retrograde. I am seeing um, there are some of y'all who are going to be dealing with a new fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or this could be someone, maybe the one who got away for some of y'all is definitely an Aries, but some of y'all is a Sag, okay? This person could be coming in offering you something new, but some of y'all are not going to be, some of y'all are going to be go independent during this retrograde. Some of y'all are going to be just focusing on y'all money. Y'all like, I'm not, I don't want a union. I don't want that. But the people who are fighting it the most is the one that is coming to hit in the face. Some of y'all got new jobs coming or an offer from a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. You tell this person, and if you got a passionate beginning from a Capricorn Taurus Virgo, this person is not going to hear, uh, oh, I'm focusing on my money right now. They going to they gonna add to it. Yeah, they is. They're gonna be like, oh yeah, okay, well let me let me go ahead and look out for you. what you need help with. And it is spirit is saying you might have an earth sign coming to want to give to you. Take it. Do not be prideful, especially if you're in the place of needing help. God hears your prayer, baby. Do not be attached to how it's coming. Don't be attached to that. For some of y'all, y'all finna start over in a new cycle, okay, with y'all soulmate, which could also be a Gemini, okay? Some of y'all moving towards Gemini. Some of y'all got Aries in the building, okay? Some of y'all could be going into a new cycle with the Aries. Some of y'all have a new Capricorn towards Virgo that's not taking no for an answer. And those of you who wanted your cancer back, baby, here they come. Or those of you who just met a new cancer and you wondering, oh, my God, what is this that I feel? <laughs> Soulmate love. <laughs> Twin flame love. That's what it is that you feel, big baby. And for some of y'all who are moving in with this cancer, Moving into what these water, this water sign love. For some of y'all, it's definitely a Pisces. Peak the union with the 13. The Alpha and the Omega, 13, 1, 3, 4. Fun. For some of y'all, Pisces come into y'all life. Or this soulmate come into y'all life to bring stability with it. So if you've been seeing folk, 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 here that stability come. Because guess what? I'm pretty sure some of y'all have been seeing them too, too. Here it come. Some of y'all, by the time this retrograde ends, y'all going to be looking like, what the hell? For those of you who've been having drama and family situations with your child's mother or your child's father, y'all are going to be starting over a new passion and leave. For some of y'all, y'all didn't even think y'all was going to be with this person. You love the hell out of this person. But some of y'all didn't think this person can get it right. Bam! For some of y'all, they getting it right. <laughs> I know I'm goofy, y'all. I'm a little corny sometimes, too. Don't judge me. I don't give a damn if you do. I ain't going to turn it off. It don't come with an off switch. You got to love all of this, okay? Shit. But for some of y'all, yeah, the ultimate outcome between by the end of this retrograde is the Ten of Cups with your soulmate. Some of y'all are reconnecting y'all families. Congratulations, Leo. Good shit. Yeah, some of y'all fixing it with an Aries as well. You have an Aries that's been giving you hell. You and this person are going to start something anew. I don't think y'all even see it coming. I feel like if you trust your dreams, okay, but first some shit got to shake up. Something got to end. Okay, for some of y'all, this person is coming back and they're trying to make a decision. And this is any sign. I feel like if you're dealing with a Scorpio, all hell's going to break loose, Leo. I feel like this person has secrets, okay, possibly regarding a Pisces or a Virgo Capricorn Taurus that you intuitively know about, but you just can't put your damn hand on it. You know some got to go in order for some to come on in. But y'all welcome in all new, new. For some of y'all, y'all been very defensive towards this person because you just know. You just know for some of y'all, this the last fight before you walking into all new everything, baby, okay? we, we In fact, we claiming it right now, Leo, because some of y'all don't even see it coming. 
Some of y'all are really guarding yourself, protecting yourself, okay, until you get that clarity. But get out of that energy because love's finna come knock you off your feet. Darling, it's finna come knock you off your feet. And guess what? Could be from Aries, Capricorn, Cancer, Libra. Yeah, this is the page of ones, but you don't see this big ass cardinal bird up here. Pay attention. Watch the birds also. The birds trying to tell you something. They are the divine messengers. Never forget. Okay? But some of y'all finna cut off. Some of y'all finna get into this Queen of Wands energy. Because I feel like a lot of y'all have an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, trying to hold on to you. And they trying to use finances in order to do it. But right now, Leo, you done found, you done found, a, for a lot of y'all, you done found a love like no other. Or you will be. So it's about making a judgment call. For some of y'all, it's about making a judgment call regarding the Aries Leo Sag. And for some of y'all, this is definitely going to balance your life out. Take that zero out. The ultimate number, the root number of this is two. If you've been seeing two, 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 balance is coming. But it's coming with the slicing, with the off with the heads. Some of y'all finna cut off a Taurus. But it's coming with off with their head. And I feel like a lot of y'all finna get a whole lot of secrets that's coming falling out the damn sky. But most of y'all, y'all even the spirit is saying y'all not even not y'all not even looking for it. Trust your dreams. Your dreams and tell you enough. Y'all finna have so many deja vu moments during this Mercury retrograde that it is unreal. I'm seeing that very strongly. But y'all do not fight love. There is a divine union trying to unfold here. There is new love trying to unfold here. There is T Mo T and all the motherfucking T possibly regarding a Scorpio boo trying to unfold here, okay? Or a Pisces. Let it happen, baby. If you leave in one water sign and go into another one, baby, do not sit up and be like, oh, I'm done with water because they just, oh, nope, 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 don't do it. Fear is not real. Doubt is not real. The Most High God is not the author of confusion, my love. Trust what you felt the first time. Trust your intuition very strongly during this time because it is popping. And definitely, <sighs> this is happening, y'all, because you've had faith. You've had faith. You've had protection. Okay? You got divinity following you, baby. Abundance, wealth, and prosperity, baby. Okay? It's time for a new new. Just make sure you don't allow your emotions to get the best of you during this time. And definitely be logical about your decisions. Trust what you feel. Okay? This is the season of re. It's time to fix it, y'all. And literally, God himself has given us an open door to fix it. Let the God within you move, trust, and just know. Everything new. All things new. And it belongs to me. And I'm speaking as you. It belongs to me. I am deserving. I am wealthy. I am healthy. I am unconditional love. I am abundant in every resource there is possible. I have. I will. I am. I trust. I know. I move. It manifests. Believe you me, <laughs> let it die and things shall grow. Trust, let it go, forgive, and growth shall show. I love y'all, my baby, sending you all the love, light, abundance, prosperity, peace, and blessings. Until we get to these 1st to the 15th of August videos, thank y'all for all the love in advance. And y'all better use y'all $40 special for 30 minutes. And I'm saying I ain't taking off extra for the same day. You know it's $25 uh, for same day fee. So it don't matter if it's the same day or the next day. What you mean? You win either way. If you know a counselor, tap them on the shoulder. Tell them that's their birthday gift too. Same $40 until August 25th. Happy birthday, Leos. Make it beautiful. I love y'all. Don't get worked up too much about this retrograde. Some does got to go. But trust you me, you gonna indulge in the new new boo. Mwah. Love y'all.